Hello students, Dr. Wheeler again. Hope your day is going really well. Got another story for you. A couple of months ago, I think I read you a story uh, called, What Do You Do With a Problem? What do you do with a problem? Well, this is another uh, story along the same lines called, What Do You Do With a Chance? What do you do with a chance? Sometimes, you know, you're a little bit afraid to take a chance to do something that you've never done before. You're a little bit worried about trying that. Will you be good enough? Will you fail at it? Let's see what happens in this story, because a lot of times it's really good to take a chance. All right. What do you do with a chance? Written by... Kobe Yamada, and illustrated by May Beesom. What do you do with a chance? One day, I got a chance. It just happened to show up. It, it acted like it knew me as, as if it wanted something. I didn't know why it was here. What do you do with a chance? I wondered. There's the chance, and there's the boy. Seeing the chance. It fluttered around me. It brushed up against me. It circled me as if it wanted me to grab it. I started to reach for it, but I was unsure and, and pulled back. And so it, it flew away. I thought about it a lot. I wished I had taken my chance. I realized I had wanted it, but I still didn't know if I had the courage. When another chance came around, I wasn't so sure, but I decided to try. I went to reach for it, but I missed and fell. I was embarrassed. I felt foolish. It seemed like everyone was looking at me. I decided I never wanted to feel this way again. So after that, whenever a chance came along, I ignored it. And the more I ignored them, the less they came around. Until one day, I noticed that I hadn't seen a chance in quite a while. It was as if they had all disappeared. I started to worry. What if I don't get another chance? I know I acted like I didn't care, but the truth was I did. I still wanted to take a chance, but I was afraid, and I wasn't sure if I would ever be brave enough. Then I thought, maybe I don't have to be brave all the time. Maybe I just need to be brave for a little while at the right time. I realized it was up to me. I promised myself that I, if ever I got another chance, I wasn't going to hold back. If I got another chance, I was going to be ready. Then 
One seemingly ordinary day, I saw something shining far off in the distance. Is it possible? I hoped. Could this be my chance? I had to find out. I ran as hard and as fast as I could toward it. I don't know how to explain it, but the second I let go of my fears, I was full of excitement. It wasn't that I was no longer afraid, but now my excitement was bigger than my fear. As I got closer, I could see that this was a really huge chance. But this time, I was ready. As it came by, I reached out and grabbed it. I held on with all my might. It felt so good to soar, to fly, to be free. I now see that when I hold back, I miss out. And I don't want to miss out. There's just so much I want to see and do and discover. So what do you do with a chance? You take it because it just might be the start of something incredible. The end. So, what do you do with a chance? I'm sure that uh, each of you has had the experience of something new to be done and being a bit afraid to try it and maybe even walking away from trying it. Whereas a friend tried it and loved it. It takes a little bit of bravery to try something new. Do you think those uh, big football players that play the sport were really excited about trying it the first time? Maybe not. They didn't know how to kick or catch. They may have said, I can't do it, but they kept trying, they practiced, and they got better and better and better. And that's true of about everything that's new in your life. That's how, how uh, you can grow and become, become ready and willing and able to do all sorts of things. It's an interesting book. Y'all talk about it in class. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye.